Yeah, hi, I want to talk to Janet, please. What do you mean she's in the operating room? Just tell her Wax Teller's on the phone. Thank you. Hey, babe, how you doing, Wax? I just want to call to tell you, uh, I'm really sorry about what happened last night, and uh, I just feel terrible about killing your old boyfriend. I know, I know it's bad, it's bad. It's real bad, babe. But those stains are going to come out. I put the scotch guard, when you put that car, put the scotch guard down, a little vinegar and baking soda. Those things are coming on. No, but no, that's not why I'm calling, babe. Babe, I'm calling just to let you know that I'm getting out of VC. I'm leaving the club. VC's no place to raise a family. I need to be happy. Yeah, just going to be you and me, babe. Just you and me. It's going to be awesome. But there's one more thing. Uh, I got to make one more haul. <laughs> Honey, babe, babe, one I, I promise you, one more haul. I gotta go, I gotta go down to Piney Barrens. One more run to the Pine Barrens. Said, yeah, Piney's cabin. Yeah, I can see Piney and the Pineys. I miss Piney too. I pine for Piney and the Pineys. Yeah, babe, it's gonna be great. I'll see you when I get back. Bye. <laughs> to uh, Big Daddy himself, the man, the king of comments. If you post a video, he put something on it. Our ambassador, our historian of the VC, Robbie Rob, Big Daddy, Panique's 1960. Shout out to you. Thanks a lot for keeping it going. Hi everybody, I'm Earl Suave. Welcome to the channel. I heard it through the grapevine L, and this channel is devoted exclusively to vinyl records and the vinyl experience, and oh, what experience it is. I'm going to link down to the part. This is a second part. There's a back from Ireland. Ben Costello, Dark Dove, meet up there, and uh, we just had a ball. And uh, I want to show you right off the bat here what's going on. The uh, Space Project from Record Store Day. I went for. I got up at three o'clock in the morning to get this, and it was sold out. Ben Costello gives this to me, and what this is, it's uh, recordings from the Mariner. Talk about space rock. I mean, it's actually Mariner One and Two. The Recording the electronic, the electromagnetic fluctuations out of the electronic, these spheres, and it's uh, and with an MP3 download, beautiful set here, and I uh, really appreciate that. He also gave me a nice 45 from a local band there in Ireland. In there, and uh, and look at this gem. I think I showed this. Gavin Friday. Be with the version prunes. Gavin Friday. and it's a triple LP set. And, I mean, it'll take you 30 minutes to just go through this album, but each album is a tricolored, and here's an example, green, orange, white, you get the idea. Came with, came with a whole big booklet here, beautiful artwork, and uh, with Gavin Friday. But we want to keep going. We got a lot of stuff going. We got a giveaway later. Hang in there. Uh, we got to get through a lot of stuff here, a short amount of time. Irish folk rock, John Renborn from uh, Ben Costello, uh, played in uh, Pentangle. Great guitar player. This album blew me away, 1965. And when you hear this, you think of Dylan. And you can see the sound, but I'm thinking Dylan copied from this guy, not the other way around. Fantastic, better guitar player than Bob Dylan, I think. And just a beautiful voice, beautiful guitar. And this is his first debut album on Transatlantic Records. 
That's the theme, Transatlantic, going around the Atlantic Ocean. I picked up another thing over here, Herbie Hancock. This is the first of um, his albums after he was with uh, Miles Davis, after the Bitches Brew era. There's like, like three albums that kind of got the real um, jazz fusion-y, electronic, all kinds of good stuff. Bernie, a lot of the guys from Bitches Brew are on this, Bernie Maupin. I mean, what, I mean, what a... Uh, Buster Williams, Billy Hart, right, and uh, Benny Maupin, Julian Priest on trombone, of course, Ron Montrose on guitar. Fantastic album, the first of three great albums by Herbie Hancock in that period. Coming back, I got a, uh, I got, uh, found this one here in the United States. This is uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, Dutch pressing, not bad, eight bucks, and uh, in immaculate condition, really nice. Uh, going back to the, I've been, you know, this is a, the Rascals Growing Up, Coming of Age album. Soul, American Soul. Did you ever hear the Rascals? Check them out on YouTube. I'm going to put a link up there, I think. Uh, there's the boys. The great, great drummer. Great drummer in this band. And these are all uh, classics. It hits on here. Number one, listening to the AM radio. And these guys would come on. Fantastic group. Guaranteed. Music to make you feel good. You feel good with this. And I, I yeah, I've seen this around, but I picked up this one. It was, only, it was only a couple bucks, and it, it's near mint. It, the, the other albums I saw, they were all scratched up and beat up, you know? They were real party albums. And just beautiful, beautiful condition here. And here, here's another one that, that wasn't too expensive. Uh, Jim Cowell, Catholic Boy. There it is. And, uh, yeah, he was with Patti Smith. He was, he's more of a poet or writer. If you saw the movie Basketball Diaries, I mean, that, that's what he wrote. And Leonardo DiCaprio played uh, Jim Carroll in that. And I just know there's a lot of parallels between him and me, you know, with the, with the playing the basketball and, and getting involved and doing things. And, the, and, and this is the uh, album where he has the uh, people who died, where he runs down the litany of all the people he knew who died. He's a great, you know, great rocker, a great punk rock sound to it. And then, uh, oh, and I, wa I want to know what, no one made me buy this, because I took it out of sleeve and I looked at it and tribute to Dr. Deadwax and especially Biosite. LJ, I looked at the dead wax there, and it had master disc stamped. And uh, LJ, you hit me, Tom, man, and that bang, because because you told me uh, master disc did a real good job uh, making records there, and so I had the LJ stamp of approval on this one. And again, beautiful conditions, very nice. And you know, speaking of LJ, you can't talk about LJ without talking about Rush, and uh, he's got me into this band big time. And this is the uh, this just came out. It's a uh, Live 1980 Missouri radio broadcast and Rush. Real good. Real good stuff. So, hey, listen. So, let's do a giveaway. Let's have some fun. I don't want to keep it too long here. Um, here here's what I got. Look at this. This is a sealed copy. Derek Vaughn, right? You know Derek Vaughn. Uh, green, that green dot, that means this is green vinyl. This is Sonosphere's 2. This, this album might be sold out already. If it's not, I don't know. It may, it may be sold out. If not, it's getting close. But here's a beautiful sealed copy of this album. To anyone in Ireland, first time viewer, if you're new to the channel, first time watching, and you live in Ireland, you'd be the first one to put, yo, what's up in the comment there, and just shout out and say hi. That's all you gotta do, and we'll be glad to send this out to you. And, uh, and if you're interested in the flyover one, his latest release, I think those are still available. Or I'll send that one out to you too, because Derek, I think, got a few extras, and we'll ship that out to you right to Ireland. So keep it, ah, uh, the Ireland thing. I always want to thank Ben Costello. I want to thank uh, Dark Dove. We went over there. I, I could sit here and, and, and talk for 40 minutes about that, but it, it was just a fantastic time. I was treated like royalty. I was, I was treated like an earl. And uh, it, we had so much fun. It was one laugh after another. What was the experience like? I, it's like if you're driving down the road, you just put your foot on the gas and just drive down the road. And go, what was the best part? It's just, there is no best part. It was just a complete gas to the whole thing there. So shout out to everybody there. Uh, Dark Duck, thank you for the book. I was down in Cork and um, he uh, gave me a book of Cork Rock signed by the author Mark uh, McAvoy. See, I remember that. That's, that's, hey, that's off the top of my head. Mark is signed as uh, Dark Duff can only do. And uh, what a gas meeting at Dark Duff. Great guy, class act all the way, and we had fun. So um, all you Irish guys out there, up the Irish, uh, new Irish subscribers, give a call, and we'll send that record out to you. Talk to you soon. Wait a minute. What is that? 
It's not over yet. Hear that? Oh yeah, that's right. I got to tell the most important part. The only reason, the reason I went to Ireland was to see Brian Jonestown Massacre. They were playing, they weren't going on the East Coast here. They were playing in Texas. They went to the West Coast and right over to Europe. I said, you know what? I'm going. Don't worry, I'm going. I'm going. I only live once. Go to the concert. I bought an extra one. I said, who wants to go? Ben Costa says, I'll go. And uh, we have a blast there. It was, it was really a great show. And what made it great was the enthusiastic crowd. You, know, you look out over that crowd. Everybody, the whole crowd knew the words to all the songs. They were fans of the place. was filled with bright shows on Massacre for a lot of fans. And it just made a lot of fun. And so, hey, maybe I'll give you a, if you're still hanging in there, if you're interested, I'll just uh, give you an idea how close we were and the immediacy of it. Hang out now. I'll just put a little clip on the end here. You can see a little, little taste of Brian Jones that mess. But, yeah, yeah, this is their, uh, this is their new album, yeah? Double album. A beautiful blue. And if you want it, you can hear it on, on, the, on the internet. It's, uh, he's been doing it for here. All right, that's it, baby. Listen to some Brian Jones Massacre. It's on.